to the first ever video of Crunch That Code. Today we will be looking at uh, different data types and also we will be looking at the difference between the printf and scanf. So the IDE I am using is code blocks as you can see here. I really recommend it. It's a very nice uh, free IDE and it works really well. So I'm going to say create, create new program, console application, click on console application. Um, we want to use C++ and then also here um, let's call it lesson one. Okay. And next, and you want to see your GNU GCC compiler there, and then finish. Right, and then you just double click here and double click on main.cpp. Um, and it gives you a default C out here, but let's just take that away. So let's quickly just look at different data types before I show you the difference between printf, scanf, and then C in and C out. So I'm just going to show you a few basic data types that we will be using throughout the series. Um, let's look at string. String is uh, basically, um, you know, it's basically a few characters, so like it's a sentence or a name or something like that, like my name, Timon, um, is, is a string. Um, so let's just put an example there, would be uh, Johnny Plays, that's an example of a string always in quotation marks, okay. And then the data specifier, which we you will see now we will be using in, in scanf and printf is going to be always in quotation marks to uh, percentage sign x. Then we get a char, which is like a, it's a character, so it's a one single character. Usually we use it with arrays and then we, it will have uh, more characters. Um, so it's not much of a difference between string and char, but char we actually use more than we use string. And that would be, for example, the letter A, also in, in single quotation marks. And the data specifier for that would be, yes, you guessed it, percentage C. Then we have int. It's an integer. Um, so it's example, it's a whole number. So it's 5 or 10 or anything like that. As long as it's not a decimal number, as long as it's a whole number. And don't ask me why, but the data specifier for that would be percentage D. Then we get double. So double is basically like a decimal number, so it's going to be example 0 0.25, and um, its data specifies percentage LF, which stands for long float. So I'm not really going to go into floats, but float is basically like a double, but it can store less bytes. Um, so I'm not really going to go into floats, but just keep that in mind. That's what LF stands for. Okay, so then... Um, I'm quickly going to comment this out. We call this a block comment with uh, asterisk and a forward slash. Um, okay, so now I'm going to uh, show you the difference between printf and scanf. Um, printf and scanf is the default um, uh, things you use in C, and then C in and C out you use in C++. So to use printf and scanf, we're going to say hashtag include. So you're basically importing that file. Um, and we are going to say std for standard dot, oh, std io dot h, and close those bracket thingies. So then, let's say, you've probably all written a Hello World application before. If you haven't, um, in your quest to learn how to code, you're still going to learn a lot about Hello World, or you're going to write a few Hello World applications. Um, so we're going to run it through CMD now. Um, so print f. Um, that is the function we'll be using, the brackets, and then in quotation marks, what you want to print, let's say, hello world. Um, and then always in C++, every line, you end with a semicolon. And we're going to run that. And let's just wait. Okay, and we'll see here, it says hello world on my console. Okay, so let's change it up again. Let's ask for user input. Let's ask for name. So let's say hello what is your name? Just put that like that. And we just need a space there so it doesn't look awkward. And now we're going to use scanf. So scanf basically, so printf basically writes something. Scanf basically reads something. It gathers um, what the user, um, it gathers the user input. Um, so we'll, here's where we're going to use um, these data specifiers. So we're going to put them in quotation marks and we're going to say, percentage s, my name is a string, so we will use percentage s, comma, um, and then a variable that we want to store it in. 
Okay, so let's just quickly create a variable here. Start by saying the variable's data type. For later on, I will make a video about um, declaring variables. So string name, let's call it name. You can call that anything you want. We call it name um, and another semicolon there. But however, with Sprint Event Scan app here, we have to put an ampersand before name. Um, it is called the address operator. So it, it basically references the variable name um, and that is where it will store uh, the data that the user inputs. So let's see what happens if we run that. Come on, here we go. So it says, hello, what is your name? Now I can um, type in my name is Timon. Okay, so nothing happens now, but we know that it is stored in the variable name. So let's just prove to you that it is really stored there. So we will use printf once again, and we will say, hello, um, um, you know, hello, and then the name. So it should say, hello, Timon, correct? So let's run it. Okay, so we enter Timon. Oh, it just says hello. Why doesn't it say hello? Well, here we need to put in a, a data specifier once again. So we want to print hello space Timon. So it's going to be hello. We leave a space open and we say percentage s, which is that as a string data um, specifier. So we run that again and it says hello. What is your name? And again we say Timon, and then it will say hello Timon. So that is um, printf and scanf. Okay. Printf and scanf, I'm just going to comment this out too. So we're quickly going to do see in and see out. So throughout the series, I'm going to use see in and see out. Um, so it's your choice, but I recommend see in and see out if you're looking at C++. Um, it's just it's just something that's that's a little bit easier to do. Um, it just works better for me. Later on, when we do files, printf and scanf will work better. But for now, let's use see out and see in. So um, I'm going to say see out. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. So again, okay, so we say see out the two um, smaller as signs and then quotation marks again because we were working with a string. So we will say, hello, what is your name? Once again, and then close the quotation mark, close the brackets, semicolon, and then now we use see in, okay? Note that the arrows are showing the other way now, okay? Um, and then we can say here, uh, ooh, yeah, okay. That bracket mustn't be there, sorry. I don't know why I put in a bracket there. And then C in, we say, okay, we're gonna create the variable name again. So we're gonna say string name. So all this text over here that is commented out will not um, be looked at. The compiler will just run over it. It will not even look at it. So again, a string name, semicolon, and then we put in name here. We don't have to use the the um, the address operator anymore. We can just say name now, and then again we will say see out. Um, hello, hello, and then just leave a space there. So now we don't need a data specifier anymore at all, and we just say plus name. Again, the little arrows, and we say. ENDL that is for end line. Or actually, in this context, we don't really have to put it, but just note that if you want to end the line, you just put in two more brackets and you say end line. So let's run it and see what happens here. So again, it says, hello, what is your name? So I'm going to say, let's say, uh, Danny this time. So hello, and then it says, hello, Danny. So yeah, uh, thank you for listening to the first lesson of uh, C++, please subscribe to my channel um, and I will have much more videos uploaded very, very soon. Have a great day. Um, yeah. Please also in the comment section, ask me if there is anything that you want to ask. Have a great day. Bye-bye.